It sounds like something from a Game of Thrones script. The plague has been confirmed now in a new part of Arizona. Fleas have tested positive in Navajo, Coconino, and now Apache County. This is the same bacteria that killed millions of people in medieval Europe. CBS 5's Derek Stahl reports on how a cute furry rodent could be the key to fight against this deadly disease. Yeah, for sure. Air, uh, researchers here in Arizona are working on a plague vaccine for prairie dogs. Once it's ready, it'll become just the second vaccine used on wild animals. The first was for rabies. They're taking this unusual step because researchers think it'll help humans. At the Phoenix Zoo, prairie dogs have it pretty easy. But in Arizona's high country, these animals have a big problem with fleas carrying the plague. If they do happen to get fleas in a population, it tends to wipe that whole group out. Within 30 days, a colony that had thousands of prairie dogs will be down to almost none. Big die-offs in prairie dogs are usually the first sign of the plague, and they can pose a risk for humans. The prairie dogs all bought, die, and then the fleas go looking for somebody else to infect or to jump on, to feed on, and sometimes that is a person. That's why Arizona Game and Fish is part of research on a prairie dog plague vaccine. They've already determined the vaccine works and have found the right bait. It's a peanut butter flavored bait. Now they're on to phase three, figuring out the best way to distribute these peanut butter flavored pellets. Can we distribute it with drones or should, it, should we distribute it with people on ATVs? Fleas with the plague pop up every year in the southwest, usually above 5,000 feet. At least three people have gotten the plague in New Mexico this year. But while the prairie dog vaccine isn't quite ready, the Arizona Department of Health Services says don't panic. Plague is treatable with antibiotics, which they didn't have during the dark ages. So if it's identified and diagnosed and you're put on antibiotics, most people are going to recover from receiving the plague. The other encouraging note is that cases of plague in humans here in Arizona are rare. Since 2000, there have been just seven here in Arizona, and only one case was deadly. The prairie dog vaccine should be certified for use in the next year or so, and then they're hoping to develop a similar vaccine for other small animals shortly after that. Scene? All right, Derek, thank you.